I love the idea of you inside a room with uh, Karpathy, Andre Karpathy and Chris Ladner. Mm -hmm. uh, very, um, very interesting, very brilliant people, very out of the box thinkers, but also mm -hmm. like first principles thinkers. Well, they both get stuff done. They only get stuff done to get their own projects done. They they talk about it clearly. They educate large numbers of people, and they've created platforms for other people to go do their stuff on. Yeah, the the clear thinking that's able to be communicated yeah, yeah. is kind of um, impressive. It's kind of remarkable. To yeah, I'm a fan. Well, l l let me ask because um, I I talk to Chris actually a lot these mm -hmm. days. He's been uh one of the just to give him a shout out in in the, mm -hmm. he's been so supportive as a human being. So everybody's quite different, like great engineers are different, mm -hmm. but he's been like sensitive to the human element mm -hmm. in a way that's been fascinating. Like he was one of the early people on, on this stupid podcast that I do to say mm -hmm. like, don't quit this thing. Mm -hmm. And also talk to whoever the hell you wanna talk to. Mm -hmm. That kind of from a legit engineer to get like, props and be uh -huh. like, you can do this. Uh -huh. That was, I mean, that's oh, what a good leader does, right? To just mm -hmm. kind of let a little kid do his thing. Like, go, go do it. Let's see, let's see, let's see what turns out. That That's a, that's a pretty powerful thing. But what do you, um, what's your sense about, he used to be, he now I think stepped away from Google, right? Mm -hmm. He said sci-fi, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, what? What's really impressive to you about the things that Chris has worked on? Because it's a, we mentioned the optimization, the compile design stuff, the LLVM. Uh, then there's he's also at Google worked at the TPU stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, he's obviously worked on Swift, so the programming language side. We're talking about people that work in the entirety of the stack. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what uh, from your time interacting with Chris and knowing the guy? What what's really impressive to you? That just inspires you. Well, well, like LLVM became, you know, the plat the de facto platform for you know compilers. Like it's it's amazing, and you know it was good code quality, good design choices. He hit the right level of abstraction. There's a little bit of the the right time, the right place, and then he built a new programming language called Swift, which you know after you know let's say some adoption resistance became very successful. I don't know that much about his work at Google, although I know that, you know, that was the typical, they started uh, TensorFlow stuff and they, you know, it was new, it was, you know, they, they wrote a lot of code and then at some point it needed to be refactored to be, you know, because it, its development slowed down Why Py, PyTorch started a little later and then passed it. So he yeah. did a lot of work on that. And then his idea about MLIR, which is, what people started to realize is the complexity of the software stack above the low level IR was getting so high that forcing the features of that into low level was was putting too much of a burden on it. So he's splitting that into multiple pieces. And that was one of the inspirations for our software stack where we have several intermediate representations that are all executable and you can look at them and do transformations on them before you, you lower the level. So that was, I think we started before MLIR really got you know far enough along to use, mm -hmm. uh, but we're interested in that. He's really excited about MLIR. Yeah. He's that's that's his like little baby. So he he yeah. and yeah, the, there seems to be some profound ideas on that that are really useful. So so each one of those things has been as the world of software gets more and more complicated. How do we create the right abstraction levels to simplify it in a way that people can now work independently on different levels of it? So I would say all th all three of those projects, LLVM, Swift, and uh, MLIR, did that successfully. So I'm interested in what he's, what he's going to do next in the same kind of way. Yes. 